What happens if Uranus crashes into the sun? Let's find out. Drop Uranus! Precisely, 10 days from now, Uranus will crash into the sun. But with every day that passes, life on Earth changes more and more. Watch until the end to see if anything actually survives. Ah. Day one and hey, wave hello to Uranus. <laughs> Uranus. Wow, Uranus is so big, it's taking up so much of the sky. <laughs> okay, seriously, come on, guys. Let's be mature here. Damn, these fishermen are looking at Uranus, too. I wonder what's going through their minds, though. This guy's having a straight-up nervous breakdown. Guess he can't handle Uranus. <laughs> Day two, and yo, Uranus is letting out a ton of gas. <laughs> Okay, seriously? Come on, I wasn't even trying that time. Aw, oh, looks like the view's blocked now. I guess all that steam in space is clouding up Earth's sky. Huh, clouds in the desert. Never seen that before. Hey, it looks like the fishermen are bringing in their haul to the city. Damn, that one guy who was tweaking earlier? Now he's causing a whole scene. Bro is running around and telling everyone that the end of the world is coming. Well, that was short-lived. Bro got tossed in jail for civil unrest. Guess we should have seen that one coming. Day three and clouds are getting real thick out here. And it seems like there's an awful smell that's going around. <laughs> Uranus stinks. Uh-oh, looks like they're blaming it on the fishermen. Damn, fishermen got kicked out of town and they're back out at sea. Wait up, one of the fishermen is still locked up. I wonder how he's doing. Ah, the guards are poking at him. Ah. Bro asked him why he thinks the world is ending. Ah. No way. Bro said that while they were out at sea, they traveled to many places. At one place, they encountered a bunch of alien ruins and a survivor. The survivor said that they were from a different universe where an evil purple god caused Uranus to crash into their planet. It released gases that suffocated all of the villagers. And when Uranus impacted, it broke Earth into chunks. Almost everyone died. Aw, the guards ain't buying it. They're laughing at him. Huh? What's that? Damn, is that acid rain falling from the clouds? See kids, this is why you should never go outside and instead just stay in and watch Zen Mode videos. Day four and Uranus is hotting up and letting out more gas than ever. No, no, not gonna laugh this time. Yo, it's like thunderstorm clouds, but if they did steroids. Wait, where's the villager city? No way. This is what's left of it? Oh, sh Bruh. There's not only acid rain now, but there's acid mist too? The acid mist is corroding away the buildings. I guess there goes what's left of this place. Yeesh. That looks like a painful way to go. Hey, at least our boy will finally be free. He won't be alive, but at least he'll be free. Huh? Where'd he go? Yo, what? Is this a secret tunnel? Ain't nobody's building secret tunnels around here without me knowing. Where does this go? Yo, where did they build this? Basically, after the acid rain went off, the guards decided to listen to the crazy fishermen, and they set off the red alarm. The guards and the villagers worked together to dig a tunnel so that most of the city could escape before it was too late. But that still doesn't explain how they built this super advanced underwater city so fast. Wow, so the fishermen were actually working with the alien survivor all along. The survivor went to build the underwater city while the other fishermen went to the desert city to sell their fish. But they planned all along to alert the desert village about Uranus and to evacuate them to the new underwater city. Yo, they even have a farm system in this underwater village. Like, how though? This alien guy really knew what he was doing. He even sent a special crew to go and capture two of every animal before everything above the water was killed by gas. So they appointed this alien survivor guy as their new leader. I guess that makes sense. He did save them all from extinction. Ah. Whoa, bro just asked the king in front of everybody how he's gonna save them from Uranus. <laughs> ah. King just said, don't worry, you got this. I mean, that's not really an answer though, but I guess everybody else thinks it's good enough. Ooh. Ooh, what's our guy up to? Ah. Aw, bro says he's forever grateful and he wants to offer his help. Huh? King's not even here. Hold up. What's all this? No. 
Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but this sure doesn't look like an escape plan. It looks like he plans to build some kind of war machine. Uh oh, somebody's been caught trespassing. Bro is confronting the king about these secret blueprints. No way. So it turns out that this alien villager was never actually a lone survivor. In his universe, his people built a lasting colony around Uranus, but swore to get revenge on the evil purple god. So they built a secret military team specifically to kill the purple god. As part of this team, they sent him on a mission to take over Earth in a different universe, then turn it into a weapon to kill the purple god. Ah. Bro asked, but what about his people? They're innocent and they'll get killed in the crossfire. Ah. Wow, he really said sacrifices need to be made in order to take down the purple god. Bro is a savage. Yeah, I had a feeling they weren't just going to let our guy walk out of this one. Day six and... Damn! Where'd all the land go? The acid mist dissolved it to the point where we just have a bunch of tiny islands left. Oh, shit! Bruh. They're sentencing our bro to death? They skipped the whole prison part. This king ain't taking no chances. Bro is really gonna die from all Uranus' <laughs> gas. <laughs> Okay, no, seriously, though, I feel bad. All right, I'm gonna cut him a deal. Listen up, my guy. If you swear loyalty to me, I'll spare you. What do you say? Ah. I hear you. Evil purple god and whatnot. I get it. But consider this. Your own people betrayed you and left you out to die here. You don't owe them nothing. Last chance. You want to join me or what? Ah. That's what I like to hear. All right, just one second. Don't die while I type this. Hey! Look at you! You got this whole new almost died from acid, but now my god look. I dig it. So, you got some god powers. Now what? Day seven, and well, there's not much left to see here. Look, even the water isn't water no more. It looks like what comes out after you have some bad chicken. I guess since the water ain't good no more, it's just a matter of time before the underwater city's barrier is gonna go. Looks like the villagers are starting to question their leader. About time. Instead of any escape plan or even just reinforcing the barrier, he's got them all working on some secret military project. Anybody who speaks out on it though, they're sent straight to prison. Bruh. In this society, the prisoners are the only sane ones left. But they can't do anything if they stay locked up in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that who I think it is? Hey, it's the homie. <laughs> They're all trying to shoot him. Oh, this is going to be fun. He's green and he's angry. What's he going to do? Hey, bro just melted all the soldiers into acid. Damn, now he's about to free all the rebels. Now he's arming them with acid guns? Day eight and oh! Yo, the revolution is going down. Bro is leading all of the prisoners out of the prison like his own private army. Ah. Wow, this guy really just announced martial law and said every villager needs to fight the prisoners. Anybody that does it will be considered a traitor. Oh, Bruh. this is all out war. Better find the king quick. Otherwise, there's going to be nobody left to save around here. Hey, he's using his creative mode to track the king. There he is. Nowhere left to hide. Time to smoke out the rat. Hey. I like how this guy rolls. Damn. So that's what they were building this whole time? Looks like some kind of mech warden. Okay, cool. Let's blow it up. Yeah! Huh? What just happened? Did it just change his acid blast into a bunch of frogs? Yo, what? How is that possible? He just restrained our guy, but he's in creative mode. No way. So it turns out, back on the alien villager's home planet, they've been traveling through multiple universes to find a weakness for the evil purple god. In one universe, the alien guy found a command block that was able to change commands in the game itself. He stole it, but was caught by the villagers from that universe. He opened up a portal at the last moment, but barely escaped alive, which is why he ended up in this current universe and his ship was all messed up. That's when the fishermen first found him. Wait, if you can target people in creative mode, then that means... Oh, sh Bruh. Yo, chill, chill! Day 9 and... Yo, the sun's flames caught on to all of Uranus's gas, and it's spreading all over the galaxy. This would be so much funnier if I wasn't being held hostage. Looks like it's one more day until those flames hit Earth. If I don't get my creative mode back, 
I'll be doomed with the rest of these stupid villagers. Bro really built a special prison to keep me inside. I'm screwed unless I can somehow break that command block. Meanwhile, he's got those villagers building something. Looks like some kind of huge portal. Yo, I saved that fisherman's life. I swear he better be planning to break me out of here. Day 10 and... Oh! Uranus has smashed into the sun! Really? A fart sound? Damn, the sun's flames are ripping Earth apart! Oh! Gotta love that utter destruction! Except, I'm still stuck in this cage. This is it for me. What did I do to deserve this? Torture a few villagers for content? Come on now. If I'm guilty, then so are you for watching this. <laughs> wow, you just told the villagers who built the portal to move aside. They won't be needed anymore. <laughs> they said, but they were promised to go back to his home planet with him. <laughs> wow, bro dropped the same line. Sacrifices are necessary and slapped away the villagers. How can you say I'm the bad guy after that? I guess this guy is gonna bring me back to his home planet to torture me, huh? Yo, what? Flames just came through the ceiling and broke the command block. But how is that possible? No way. So the acid demon and his rebel prisoners dug a secret tunnel to the surface and let gas leak in through it overnight. That's how the sun's flames came through the tunnel and directly onto the command block. Hey, hey, hey. Remember me? Looks like I got my creative mode back. Boop. There you go. Karma's a bruh. Enjoy being burnt alive. Huh? Ah. What did you say? I owe you? Hmm. Fine. There you go. Just don't try to come after me because you've seen what will happen. Oh, and before I go? Yeah, that's better. See you in the next one.